League uh, is looking into Kyrie Irving. He has missed the Nets' last three games due to personal reasons. He is not expected back with the Nets at any point this week. The reviewing videos that are circulating on social media of Kyrie without a mask at what appears to be a family birthday party and a potential violation of the league's COVID protocols. If he is found to have violated the league's health and safety protocols, he could be facing an additional amount of quarantine time. There's not going to be a, a lot of empathy from the league. The Nets' expectation is Kyrie Irving has to come back and explain to them, to his teammates, uh, to the public, uh, you know, exactly his reasons for going. If you need time off, then go get it. But right now, it's just a bad look. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, time for the latest in the Kyrie Irving soap opera. Let's break it down. Kyrie has been absent for four games now, not expected to be back in the lineup through the rest of this week. There was the going maskless, maskless at a family's birthday party. There also was a Zoom call last night. And, you know, we had to bring in Kendrick Perkins to get his thoughts on this whole shebang. But, Stephen A., we're going to start with you here because you had a lot to say earlier on in the show. Do you think Kyrie is worth all of this drama? I do not. Um, and I'm not talking about him as a as a, a talent because I think he's a superstar caliber talent. Um, but Kendrick Perkins, just so you know, because you weren't here at the top of the show, I'm going to reiterate what I said in front of you at the top of the show, KP. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. Retire. Period. You don't want to play basketball. What the, what the hell are you here for? I mean, the bottom line is, is that you are paid to play the game of basketball. You... And see, and this is what people is missing, KP and Max. Here's what people are missing. Yeah, you're taking time off. Yeah, you might be docked some pay. But guess what, y'all? If I'm getting paid $33.4 million for this season, right, I might deduce that if I take off the next five or ten games, right, then what that means is that, okay, I might lose some pay, but I'm going to still pocket about $25 million for the rest of the season. So it's almost like a vacation for you because you're taking time off. And even though you ain't getting paid, you can afford it. So it doesn't mean anything to you. You see what I'm saying? So that money that you're guaranteed, at least a chunk of it, is still going to be there for you. Meanwhile, you've said to the Brooklyn Nets, listen, y'all are not a priority. You've said to your boy, Kevin Durant. You're not a priority. You said to Steve Nash, a coach you endorsed arriving. You're not a priority. You said to Sean Marks, who gave you four years, $141 million, all right? Then you showed up and only paid, played 20 games. Kyrie Irving, until this season began, had not played since February 1st of last year. February 1st, and then he was out, he didn't participate in the bubble. Remember, the season was canceled March. He heard his show that he was out. So you didn't play since February 1st. You're off until the following December, and somehow, some way, you need time off because you've got personal issues. You have a job. You have teammates that are dependent on you. You got Brooklyn, New York, to starve and to see you. You got championship aspirations. Kevin Durant is fresh off of playing, having missed 18 months because of an Achilles tear in the finals. And he comes back a year and a half later, and he's giving you 29 a game on 53% shoot and 44% from three-point range. But could use your help because when you're not there, it puts more of the onus on him to replicate things like what he did last night against Denver and closing them out with a 34-point performance and closing the deal against them. But it puts more on him. It doesn't matter to you. And why? Because of what's going on here in the streets of America and in the world. We respect where you're coming from with that because we know your heart's in the right place, Kyrie. I ain't trying to slip on that and throw shade on that by any stretch of the imagination. But what you're doing is clearly selfish and it's entitled because you don't, you know, you're going to have a job waiting for you whenever you in the mood to come back. You got that kind of mentality. It's time to go. I believe that Kyrie Irving should retire from the game of basketball until he's ready to come back and make it the priority he's paid to make it. Until then, he should retire, KP. Let me say this. Um, first, because he's taking the, the time off for personal reasons, Kyrie, I hope you're okay. I hope your family's okay. I hope your loved ones are okay. And whatever personal reasons, 
you get straightened out. That's the first thing. As a human being, I hope he's all right. And the people he loves are all right, you know? Um, second, the super talented don't always play by the same rules as everyone else. If Dennis Rodman missed the team bus or went to Vegas in between games, he'd get away with it because he grabbed 17 boards and helped you win championships. The Chicago Bulls years I'm talking about. Um, Kyrie is a super talented player who puts on a show on a nightly basis. And so he has some leverage here because the fact is, particularly with Dinwiddie's injury, that even if Dinwiddie was healthy, this Brooklyn Nets team ain't winning a championship without Kyrie. Now, they might not win one with him either, and that might be his fault because you guys were telling me the whole time KD's still going to be just fine and da-da-da-da-da, and I was cautious. I wanted to see, but I've seen. KD is spectacular. He looks like KD to me. He had something like 12 dimes yesterday. Like his passing game in the last several years of activity has been getting better and better. He's just the complete package. Um, but KD can't do it by himself. And by the way, he has a nice supporting cast, Levert and Allen and these guys. They ain't going to win no championship without Kyrie Irving. What it really comes down to is, is Kyrie going to be the dude who made the Celtics worse and then the Nets worse over the last couple of years? Or is he going to be the dude who, when he's clearly not the best player on a team, when there's another dude as talented as him but a foot taller, like LeBron or KD, so he has to recognize, okay, I have to defer to that guy. When he's the second banana, can he help KD win a championship the way he helped LeBron? That's the question right now. But he has some leverage because, guys, if they don't bring him along, if they can't get him back into the fold, this next season could be successful – but they ain't going to challenge for a title. <clears throat> well, I say this. Stephen A. Max, look, both of y'all have valid and great points. And, and I can't disagree with either one of you guys' points. But I will say this, right? When you look at the situation with Kyrie and what he's doing right now, I was the first to react and tweet out and said, you know what? What we're going through in America right now, I support Kyrie 100%. I support any player that feel like they don't want to play or don't want to step on the court for a couple of games. Okay, cool. If that was the reason. But now, since things have transpired, I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, is Kyrie worth the drama? Hell no. And if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I'm calling up the Houston Rockets today trying to trade him for James Harden. Because here's the deal, here's the deal. It messes up the chemistry. It messes up the flow. Steve Nash didn't even know he, was, he wasn't playing the night he decided not to the first game. That's a distraction to the ball club. That is a problem. And who's to say he's not gonna do it again? Whenever Kyrie don't feel like playing, he's just not going to show up and not going to text anybody or, or call anybody or call anybody back. That's not the way to go. But on a, on a further note, here's the problem that I have. We're dealing with a pandemic. People in the world are starving for jobs. If you have a job, you are in a great situation and you ought to be thanking God because you're blessed. Here it is. Kyrie has a job. He has a job that is paying him close to $35 million a year, and you're not showing up to work. They have people losing money daily, cannot pay their rent. And then on top of that, you are the vice president of the Players Association, the vice president. And when I came on here a few months ago, before the pandemic, when Kyrie was talking about, when they was thinking about doing the bubble, and he was saying, oh, I don't want to go to the bubble, and we should not play, and this, that, and the other. And I said, the blind is leading the blind, and this is why. You're at a family gathering party with no mask, did it bopping, like it's, it, like it's nothing committed to playing the game of basketball. And I know James Harden is being a distraction in Houston. I get that. But he wants out. The brother wants out. And he wants to come to the Brooklyn Nets. We all know this. So I'm saying, looking at last Philly night, now. looking at the Houston Rockets, well, well, Philly too. Philly too. But I'm saying, if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I'm calling about getting rid of Kyrie, and that's just period point blank.
Well, let me say this to you. It's, it's Philly more so than Brooklyn now, KP. I found that out about two hours ago because of the Kyrie situation in Brooklyn. That's why James Harden would prefer Philly over Brooklyn right now. That's number one. Number two, I was talking to a couple of folks, uh, a couple of high-ranking officials this morning, Max and KP, along with at least one owner and uh, at least a couple of, uh, of big-time agents. And they all echoed the same thing that somebody just texted me a little while ago. It says here, Kyrie might be close to ending his career because dealing with him is entirely too risky. He can't be trusted. They went on to say, nobody's bigger than the game. The train will head to the next station. And the Brooklyn Nets may have grounds to terminate his contract if he keeps this up, period. Now, I want y'all to take that into consideration. Wow. The Brooklyn Nets could potentially terminate his contract because he's taken personal reasons. He hasn't articulated and elocuted what those personal reasons are. We've seen him on, on video and in photos violating league safety and protocols, therefore endangering the brand. He's come across as incredibly selfish. And obviously, really, really about himself and what he's thinking. He's been on the record calling folks peons, okay, because he's of a higher plane and a higher thinking than most of us. Mm. So, in other words, where he's coming from and where his intellectual capacity is, Max, and what he's thinking about and what's permeating his thoughts and his mind, it's so far above us right now. We can't really see the plane <laughs> he's floating on. <laughs> Meanwhile... He's in the midst of getting paid $33.4 million. It doesn't work. You got to give up something. So the challenge here is to say Kyrie, and again, he doesn't have to give up his thoughts on the personal issues he wants to address or the issues that permeate our society. We should applaud him for that. All we're saying is you got to show up to work too, like everybody else does. You can't sit up yeah. there and, and, and skip your responsibilities in order to address the concerns. You have to find a way to do both. And if you can't do both, I think we'd all respect Kyrie Irving if he sat up there and said, you know what? That would be selfish of me to sit up here and collect money from Brooklyn while I don't want to play. So, you know what? So I'm going to pass it up. I'll just retire from the game of basketball and I'll dedicate at least my immediate future, if not my life, to these issues that are so near and dear to my heart. He's not doing well, that. He's trying to get the money, this. too. Let, let me say this, Stephen A. I would implore Kyrie, and I know he talks about how smart he is, and you've told me, and many people have told me how smart Kyrie Irving yeah, is. Not dumb. I have yet to see evidence of I, it I, when he opens his that. mouth. Yeah. However, maybe, maybe it is true, but I, and, I, and, and I agree his heart seems to be in the right place. Let me say this to Kyrie Irving. I would implore him to not do what you're suggesting, Stephen A., because I don't care how talented you are, and he's extremely talented. Skill and talent are different. Skill you must acquire. Skill takes years of practice and dedication, and you have to have passion to acquire the kind of skills that Kyrie's obviously spent a lifetime acquiring in basketball. I would urge him, I would urge you, Kyrie, not to throw that away because you put in clearly too much work. And, and forget about just the economic benefits, the 30 plus million dollars a year. The fact is it provides a platform. If you're interested in making real change, it helps you do that. And, and finally, guys, the physical prime is fleeting. You can do, you have the rest of your life, not to say you can't also pursue that now, but the rest of your life to do everything else you want. This is the only time you have to do the thing that you've put in so many hours and such a huge percentage of your life building to this point. Circulating social media of Kyrie maskless at a family birthday party, potentially leading to more of an extended absence for the point guard. He was already ruled out for a fourth straight game last night. And according to sources of ESPN, will miss tonight and Saturday's game as well for personal reasons. Kyrie also seen last night taking part in a Zoom call for a Manhattan district attorney candidate that took place just moments before the Nets tipped off against Denver. Stephen A, now here with us. Welcome to the show, Stephen A. Thank you. Uh, Max has already responded to this. So I want to ask you, do you think that Kyrie is worth all of this drama? No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. I think he should announce his retirement today. Clearly, you don't want to play basketball bad enough. 
Now, you might still want to get the $33.4 million, obviously, uh, devoid of uh, some of the docked pay you'll receive because uh, you've, you haven't complied with uh, safety protocol measures. And as a result, the league is going to determine when you come back instead of yourself uh, or taking personal leave and obviously forfeiting game checks or whatever the case may be. But still in all, at the end of the day, you know what? You're still going to get, you know, in excess of $20 million at the very least, even though you're on the books of $33.4 million this year. Kyrie Irving has has not prioritized basketball. I'm not saying he doesn't want to play all, all, all together. I'm saying he hasn't prioritized it. And how fair is that to the Brooklyn Nets? How fair is that to Sean Marks? How fair is that to Steve Nash, a coach that he endorsed bringing on board, a coach that he wanted, a coach that he fully supported? How fair is that to his brother, Kevin Durant? Now, we can sit up there and say what we want about Kevin Durant, temperamental and all this stuff. This brother is a superstar and answers the call the way superstars are supposed to answer the call. Whenever he can play, he does play. That's who Kevin Durant is. He loves playing the game of basketball. He can play it for a lot of money because he's so great he commands it, or he'd play for free. But he'll play anywhere because that's who he is. Kyrie Irving clearly is not interested in doing that, and that's the problem. So guess what? Take, go ahead and retire. Go ahead and retire until you know that you're committed to playing. And the reason why I seemed a bit perturbed and a bit disgusted by all of this is because Kyrie Irving, this is what's going on right now. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening in this world over the last few months, as we all know. Social justice issues and beyond, and we get that. And Kyrie Irving's heart is in the right place. He wants to do a lot of things for the community. He wants to do things to uplift the community, to address some of the concerns, the things that have ravaged our communities for many, many years. He wants to do all of that. In that regard, his heart is in the right place. He's philanthropic. He's very charitable with his time, with his donations, and things of that nature. Just the other day, we saw him on the phone with some um, some congressional figure. I don't know who it was. I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me, but clearly trying to address some of the concerns that are ailing our society and our community. We understand that. Here's the problem that I have. He acts like he can't chew gum and, and, and walk at the same time. You can do that after you fulfill your duties or in the midst of fulfilling your duties. Just because you want to do all of those other things does not mean that you can't show up to work and just show up and earn your paycheck. This dude signed four years, $141 million. Last year, he played 20 games. He made a whole bunch of noise and hoopla about how the players shouldn't participate in the bubble during the postseason. A bubble, by the way, that he wasn't going to be able to participate in because he had right shoulder surgery. But still, he was making noise. And then went against Chris Paul and the Players Association, Chris Paul, Andre Iguodala, and all of those boys without even letting them know or giving them a heads up as to what he was going to do. He just bucked the whole system and decided that he wanted to do things his way. Then he comes into this season. Now that KD is healthy, okay? He still doesn't have his legs out, or, you know, his legs together or whatever. KD is still getting in the game shape. He's still getting his game back and averaging 27, 28 a game. This is who this dude is. Surreal. Big time. Just elite. Future Hall of Famer. Two-time champion. Two-time NBA Finals MVP. And we all know that the Brooklyn Nets would not have wanted Kyrie Irving had it not been for Kevin Durant. So if you're Kevin Durant, obviously you had to vouch for this brother. You had to insist on this brother being there with you. You had to want him the way Kawhi Leonard wanted Paul George. That's what you did with Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving repays you and repays the Nets organization by skipping games for personal reasons. You're violating safety protocols. I know you were dancing with your sister Asia, and I get all of that, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But the times that we're living in, you know the last thing you need to be caught doing is being in a crowd of people without a mask on. You know that's going to raise red flags. It's going to make the NBA step in. Uh, safety protocols and measures are going to obviously be discussed and probed and whether or not you violated them. You know all of this stuff. You don't care. You don't mind missing games or anything. So guess what? This is what Kyrie Irving is saying. Basketball is not a priority to me. Nobody, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, Allen, Joe Harris, Steve Nash, Mike D'Antoni, and the rest of the coaching staff, Sean Marks, again, none of them deserve this. The owner, Joe Sy, he doesn't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Kyrie Irving, until you want to play, you should retire, forfeit every penny you make, retire, and go do what you want to do 
in regards to these issues that are clearly most important to you until you are ready to play. And my last point, Max, is saying this. If you know anything about Kyrie Irving, one of the people he loved, and I hate to bring this up, but it's unavoidable. One of the people he loved so dearly was the late, great Kobe Bryant. Kyrie loved this man, and he loved Kyrie, okay? This is a person that you respect and wanted to emulate. If you know anything about Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant had a multitude of interest. He was always doing something. Missing games, when healthy, was not one of them. No matter what Kobe was doing, no matter what, even if he wasn't necessarily 100%, he didn't miss games. This is ridiculous. And, 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 and you know what? He just needs to retire. He just needs to retire. I want to ask you, is Kyrie worth all of this drama? The answer is yes. He is worth it. Number one, because he came in a package deal with KD. If you're the Nets and your choice is have Kyrie on your team and you get KD, or neither one, you absolutely have Kyrie on your team and you get KD. It's like what the uh, uh, Clippers did with Paul George, right? It's not that Paul George is a bad player, but they had to give up a whole lot to get Paul George. But he came with Kawhi Leonard. You got to go for it when that opportunity presents itself. In terms of is Kyrie worth the drama as a player, let me first start by saying whatever personal reasons he's not playing, I hope he's okay. I hope his family is okay. Like, as a human being, you hope he's okay. Um, and the fact that he's on a Zoom call for a candidate for district attorney, that, that, that uh, whatever. That's not the same thing as playing a game. You could be on a call, even if it's 20 minutes before a tip-off. The optics, as they say, aren't great. But it's possible to do that for a little while, a half hour or something. It's not the same time commitment as playing a basketball game. And you could do it from your home, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not even going to kill him for that. Um, he is worth the drama for this reason. Kyrie Irving when he is the clear-cut second banana on the team, when he is Robin, has shown you can win a championship. He can do it. Now, Batman was LeBron James, and maybe KD's not LeBron James, but could you think of someone closer to LeBron than KD right now? Kevin Durant's game, he looks like he's fully recovered from his Achilles, which is shocking to me. He's like already looks like KD. Um, he's, he's become a great passer in addition to everything else, KD. So Kyrie can clearly be second banana. His on-court exploits uh, are worthy of the drama he may create off the court. Now, there's always the danger that Kyrie, his off-court stuff, affects his on-court performance, affects the locker room to the point where the team functions better without him than with him. We saw that happen in Boston. We saw that happen in Brooklyn last year, especially though with Dinwiddie's injury, he's gone for the season. They need a primary ball handler. And in Kyrie, when Kyrie is right, you really can't do better than that. So the answer is, Yes, Kyrie is worth the drama, but oh my God, there's a lot of drama with this guy right now. And even when there isn't drama that's obvious off the court, taking off for personal reasons, not wearing a mask in the middle of a pandemic, those kind of things, you have to wonder how is his effect on the locker room and team chemistry and the functioning of the team, even when that stuff is absent. Because we've seen several examples now in the recent past of him having a deleterious effect on a team, which Charlie is mind-boggling because Kyrie is not only exceptionally talented,